In this clip, I will show you what arrived in my latest Jackson's Art Supply Haul. I will share with you some money saving tips and tell you how you can save 10% on your Jackson's Art Supply order. So earlier this week, I posted in the community tab an image that wasn't from Jackson's, it was from another company and I asked you to guess what was in the box. I'll be coming back to that later, but firstly, I'm gonna open my first box from Jackson's and it's something that is part of the oil paint promotion. They are currently running an oil paint promotion which is 20% off. I am filming this in mid-May. So if you are quick off the mark, you may still be able to take part of that oil paint promotion. It's 20% off. And as I was going to be ordering a few things from Jackson's anyway, unfortunately I did get tempted into buying some oil paints. So let's see what I've ordered. So as usual, everything with Jackson's is really well wrapped up. All of the oil paints have been put in these boxes and that's really good because it protects them. Those of you that paint with oil paint know that those foil tubes can be easily pierced. So firstly here, I have a lot of samples that I've ordered from Jackson's. There are some linens and some watercolor paper. So I'm gonna run through which ones there are. The reason why I like to order these samples, and this is a fantastic money saving tip with Jackson's, if you are going on the website, just type in samples to have a look at what they have. They have pens, they have paints, they have lots of things, but this is a really good opportunity for you to try these out and not spend a lot of money. This sample here of the watercolor papers was two pounds, and then these two here were 20p, so that's a great opportunity, and you could use these for making cards, for example. So that's a great way to try those papers out without spending the money. These linens here are from a variety of companies, Bella Arti, Art Fix and Clausens, and they range from 20p to 50p, depending on whether they've been primed or glue sized. And I like to have these so that I've got a really good indication of what linen I should go for based on the texture. I actually try out my oil paints on them before ordering because, as you'll probably know, linen can be prohibitively expensive and it's really important that you get the right linen for your subject that you're painting. There was one of these in particular that I probably wouldn't have even thought to order and it was so incredibly smooth that I now will think of investing on, of, on buying that um, because it was so incredible. I normally just buy the glue sized but it was quite interesting to feel the texture of that with it being primed. So now for the part that I've been really looking forward to. I've wanted to order Michael Harding paints for quite a long time because I've heard so many good things about them. There are a range of paints that are handmade and because the Jacksons had the 20% sale, I couldn't resist. So I ordered a 225ml titanium white. Essentially, I've ordered my skin tone palette. I ordered in the 40ml Van Dyke Brown Burnt Sienna Magenta. And I really like the packaging of these paints. They look really natural. And most of them are either, well, the titanium white is mixed with safflower oil. The colors that I've just stated, the 40 milliliter ones are mixed with linseed oil. And then I have the permanent sap green. Again, that one is ground with linseed oil. And then lastly, the one that I'm just about to open now is French yellow ochre, ivory black and ultramarine blue and those are also mixed with linseed oil and those are 60 milliliter tubes. I'm really looking forward to using these. I will do a review at a later stage. It's probably going to be in a few weeks time but I'm really excited to use these. I've heard so many good things about them. So what was in that large box? that I put on the community tab. Well, we're just about to find out. So these two boxes that I'm about to open, they weren't from Jackson's. I do have another delivery from Jackson's, but it hasn't arrived yet. I'm still waiting for that, so that's why I'm going to open these two boxes now. And these two boxes are from a company called Colorbite that have been recommended to me. And we're just about to find out what is in the box. I should mention at this point that I'm not affiliated with or sponsored by this company. It's just that I have had this company company recommended to me and the item that I have purchased, I have been advised that they are made really well. 
So we've got some wood here. So these pieces of wood here, we've got seven central bars that are going to go into some stretches. So I have in the two boxes, I have enough stretches here or stretcher bars to make seven stretches. They're going to be a little bit smaller than a meter wide. So a meter square, because I'm going to make seven stretches. And I've ordered these in bulk because I'm about to make a series of paintings. So these are the central bars that are going to go in these meter, or they're a little bit smaller than a, a meter wide squares. So in the second box, you have the actual stretcher bars and these will click together really easily to make the complete stretcher. In this box are also the wedges that will go in once I have added the linen to my stretcher. So it's going to take me a while to open this and then I'll be able to show you the actual stretcher. I will be making, you can see this quite heavy, I'm finding it difficult to move around. I will be making a clip later this month or next month on how to put these together and add the linen to it. So um, I will be showing you this, either it will probably be next month, so look out for that. So here we have the last delivery. This took, came along a couple of days later and this is my metre roll of linen. I have been waiting quite a long time for this. I have had to stop my painting because I've been waiting for this to come through. So I'm very relieved that this has now finally arrived because it's been out of stock at Jackson's for quite a long time. So I'm going to open this very carefully because I don't want to cut this. And as I said, later in the month or next month, I will show you a video of how I put together my stretches and how I put my linen on the stretchers ready to paint my next two portraits. I hope you enjoyed watching this paint haul and if you would like to receive 10% off your order if it's your first order with Jackson's please click in the description below any of the links to the items from the Jackson's website and you will receive 10% off your first order. Also if you are ordering on time of release of this clip there is a Jackson's oil painting sale with 20% off so please make sure you take advantage of that don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so that you can be notified of my clip when I am putting together these stretcher bars along with the linen on the stretcher